Did you know that pineapples have seeds? Keep watching this video to find out how pineapple seeds look like. Welcome back to today's video. Today we are learning how to make pineapple juice, also known as omunanansi in Uganda. Pineapple juice is very popular in Uganda as a beverage, a hot beverage when it's cold and sometimes it can be taken as a cold beverage when the weather is hot. As you can see, I discovered pineapple seeds while I was cutting this pineapple and they look like tiny apple seeds, if you know how apple seeds look like. but tinier versions of that which is really fascinating anyway let's move on to the next part of this recipe today we'll be talking about making the simple juice and once you know how to make the simple juice you can customize it to your liking starting off we're going to peel our pineapples and then eat the pineapple so what we're going to use will be the pineapple peelings you can also use pineapples that are overripe to be eaten so we're going to add the pineapple peelings to the pot and then add water to the pot you can flavor the pineapple juice however you want and you can use any spices you have available like ginger cinnamon um, cloves cardamom whatever you have make sure the water is enough to cover the pot because we want as much juice as we can get from these leaves the next thing we're going to do is to put our water and pineapple peelings on fire and bring them to a boil you can boil this for 30 minutes i usually like to boil it for about an hour so that i can extract all the juice from those pineapple peelings before you cook your pineapple peelings make sure that you have thoroughly washed your pineapple so that you get rid of any dirty or unwanted particles once the pineapple juice has boiled you set it aside and let it rest and cool down before we can move on to the next step now the next step is to separate the juice from the pineapple peelings and you can use a colander or a sieve to do this because you don't want any particles in your juice once you have separated the juice add clean drinking water to the remaining pineapple peelings and then use your hands to squeeze out any of the remaining juice because you know we want to utilize these peelings as much as possible so that we can get enough juice for the full detailed written recipe of this pineapple juice follow the link in my profile to go and visit the blog a kitchen in uganda you're done with this add this juice that you've just extracted from the pineapple peelings into the other juice the next thing we're going to do is to sweeten our pineapple juice you, you can sweeten this juice however you like if you prefer more sugar you can add more sugar if you don't like sweet things then it's up to you so after you sweeten the juice you're going to leave this juice at room temperature in a cool place overnight you can also use the refrigerator but i find that the fermentation process works better when you leave the juice overnight in a room temp in a cool place outside the fridge overnight and then serve the juice the next morning let me know what you call pineapple juice in your local dialect and if you have ever made this pineapple juice thank you for watching and see you in the next video